unto the Church of God and Saints of Christ, to this august body of believers, to the church in general, to the evangelists at large, to the elder, to general court, assistant general chorister, sister elders, pardon me, then to the assistant general chorister. So all of the saints that are assembled uh, here in Zoom land, tabernacle number one, thankful again for the presence of God, thankful for the spirit of God dwelling here where we are in our respective places. Although we're in respective places to ourselves, we are all collective in the spirit of prophecy. And so I'm thankful that here we find ourselves, not one uh, with another in physicality, but one with one another in spirit, in spirituality. I thank the Lord uh, for all that he has done, as I often say, all that he is doing and all that he will do. So thankful for all of the services that we've heard so far on this uh, youth Sabbath. I'm thankful uh, for for being uh, being even thought of to say, "Hey, man, would you would you deliver a word?" And I'm I'm thankful for being able to say confidently, "Yeah, I I have one for you. I can I can I can put something together." And I'm thankful uh, that that is the case because that was not always the case when I was young, uh, and I am not young or particularly young anymore. Uh, but 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 when I was young, that was not oftentimes the case when I was asked or when I was told it's it's time for me to preach. I, I wasn't exactly the most receptive to it or the most um, you know happy about uh, being told uh, that it was my time. But I thank the Lord anyhow that there is growth and there is uh, transformation. Um, and that's that's the crux of what we're going to speak about. I'm still, uh, enamored with the, the youth on, on this day. So happy just to see all of them. I don't want to get to call names, but we've seen them all grow up. You know, they, they've all just, just, they kind of just sprouted up over this past year, uh, seeing brother Joshua, seeing, uh, seeing, uh, St. Peno, see, seeing brother Av, seeing all of the youth, uh, seeing the the uh the children the Sha uh, shabalala children uh seeing them seeing saint dalo uh seeing all of the saints and and all of these young people and they have grown and not just grown in stature they've grown in spirit and they've grown in their faith and that that i wouldn't care if you were a midget if you were tall in spirit i'm happy with you i'm 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 so so happy for uh for all of them. I'm not proud, but I'm happy uh, for their parents that they get to see this maturation process. And I'm happy that I'm able to enjoy in it over the past year or so with you all. I don't want to stand before or sit before you uh, speak for too long, but from the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel is like one of my favorite guys in the Bible. Ezekiel chapter 36, um, 26 through 28. And uh, before I do any of that, I was taught, well, I stole somebody's thing, but Hebrews 12, 22 through 24 says, but ye are come unto Mount Zion and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven and to God, the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect, and to Jesus, who is the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than that are of Abel. From the book of Ezekiel 36, 26 through 28, it reads thusly, hope you have your finger on it, if not, I'll read slow enough. It says, a new heart also will I give you and a new spirit will I put within you and I will take away the stony heart of flesh and I will give you a new heart 
I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh and I will give you a new heart, a new heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and ye shall keep my judgments and do them. And ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers and ye shall be my people and I will be your God. I double dog dare you to high five your neighbor on the left hand side and say he is my God. And, and, and maybe that's not good enough. So I double dog dare you to high five your neighbor on the right side of you and say that he is your God. I see some high fives going on and I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain that he is your God. Saints, we live in a, in a hard hearted society. God, his, his laws, his statute, God, his law, no S, just law, one law. His statutes are secondary. And it, it seems as though humanity just has no regard for the Lord and, and for what he has said uh, and what the great I am has set before us. And God knows that we've, we've profaned him. He's, he's aware of this. God knows that we've taken advantage of the free will that he has given us. God being the omnipotent supreme being that he truly is, whether, whether we accept it or not, God knows the intents of our hearts and he'll allow us to only go but so far until he has to come until he has to come and reclaim us well i examine myself where have i fallen off where have i slipped up and 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 then i remember that the redeemer of our souls is right there with us in spite of us y'all y'all know i'm i'm big on the lord is with us in spite of us God has a masterful plan. He is the master planner. Also, he is the master builder. He can facilitate and he can create whatever edifice he desires to put together and bring forth. And so God is with us in spite of us. God has been a good God. He has indeed been a good God to our forefathers, great and marvelous are thy works thou o king of saints god knows the intents of our hearts so he'll only allow us to go but so far uh until he has to reclaim us and so so where have i slipped up and and where have and and i'm i'm certain again that god is with us in spite of us this covenant this this is the covenant and I'm Joseph the best, but this is the covenant that I will make with them. I'll, I'll rip out this heart of stone out of your chest like a master surgeon and give you a transplant, a new heart of flesh. According to the prophet Jeremiah in the 31st chapter at the 31st verse, at the 33rd verse, it says, I'll put my law in your heart. I'm paraphrasing here and I'll establish it furthermore in your mind so that you'll be his people and he'll be our God. Saints, for a quick topic of discussion, and I mean quick, because I'm, I'm almost halfway through it, but I just want to present to you the idea of God, the heart surgeon. We've spoken about God, the master builder, but I want you all to remember and think about God in this dispensation as one of the uh, co-workers of St. Zanelli at the doctor, at the Doctors Without Borders. I want you to think about the, the, the God that is the heart surgeon, like, like in Gray's Anatomy, Dr. Miranda Bailey. I want you to think about God being a heart surgeon. God is going to do this mighty, mighty thing for us and to us, and he's going to do it in our lives. Jeremiah, again, at the 31st chapter in the 33rd verse says, I'll put my law in your heart and I'll establish it furthermore in your mind so that you'll be his people and he'll be our God. Your iniquities are remembered no more. They're cast away into the sea of forgetfulness. All of yesterday 
all of yesterday, all of yesterday's transgressions, all of yesterday's mistakes, all of yesterday's downfalls are remembered no more in today. Today is new. His mercies and his blessings and his grace, all of that is sufficient enough for today. Think about God being the God of today. We've got to trust in God and, and, and we've got to trust him and do as he says. And if we do so, our iniquities are cast into the sea of forgetfulness. It's no longer remembered. Y'all just, I'm juggling around a little bit, but Psalm 51 10 kind of goes along with this. 10 through 15, it says, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. You know, at the doctor's office, they, they charge you money for this kind of heart surgery, but, but God is going to put this new spirit in you and it's not going to be costing you a dime. And I'm thankful to the almighty God for that because the spirit is free. Then will I teach transgressors thy way and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltness, blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of our salvation and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness O lord open up my lips open thou my lips and my mouth shall show forth thy praise so saints i want you to know that god is all scrubbed in god has has sanitized his hands and we know all about that in this past year sanitize his hands scrubbed in and he's ready to clean up that old you god is ready to remove the blockages that are causing these health issues and health problems with your heart and and they're messing with the heart that he gave you god is ready just like the lady from Grey's anatomy miranda bailey uh he's ready to restore and he's ready to to, to bring you back to your essence bring you back to that oneness with the father and this doesn't happen overnight everything is a process and and we all know about trusting the process but the lord has a mighty way of teaching you through experience he's going to use experience to teach you and while these circumstances may be a bit rough and and and, and they may be a bit tough the reassurance is that he is going to uphold you with his free spirit you'll you'll be on the ventilator for a little bit uh you you'll be you'll be out of breath for a while you won't be able to uphold yourself you won't be able to contain yourself but the lord is right there with you and that's just about all you need and he is controlling the ventilator for you god is the ventilator the the hospital doesn't this this hospital it won't rush you out he he wants you a fully furnished saint he wants you he wants you not only just to be able to walk on your way out of the house he wants you uh out of the hospital he wants you to be able to run out of the hospital god wants you to be prepared for the next portion of your journey he and his righteousness uh god wants a fully furnished saint so so his righteousness will be accomplished and he'll accomplish his righteousness within you so that you can tell of god's goodness you'll you'll teach the transgressors his way and, and you'll convert the sinners the lord is going to fix you yet you and the lord is going to fix you and, and put you to work for his purpose the lord will open up your lips and you will in turn show forth his praise so in in this new person that you've become in this new heart that you've gotten in this in this new transplant that you've received in this new season that you're in and in this in this new mind state that you're in or should i say renewed mind I'll, I'll leave that to you to, to figure out. In this dispensation, though, all of the former things, again, are passed away. And the new heart, the new mind, the new spirit, and, and the new walk, and the new talk is, is waiting for you in the operating room. And Dr. Jesus is right there scrubbed in, holding the scalpel, ready to go to work on your stony heart that you have let uh, uh, come corrupt because of the situations of this world. But the Lord is never too far from correcting something that he sees wrong. And so Jesus, Dr. Jesus is at the uh, at the operating room, in the operating room with the scalpel scrubbed and ready to go to work for you and on you. Saints, I pray that we all receive uh, receive because sometimes in surgeries you you cannot receive this this the transplant organ but i pray that we all are receptive to this new heart of flesh uh and that's not only receptive with our body but with our mind it's 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 oftentimes the the mind that leads the body and so i'm i'm praying that we're receptive to this new heart of flesh for the lord is a great god he's 
uh, a great king and he is above all gods in his hands in lie the deep places of the earth the strength of the hills is his the sea is his he made it and his hands stretched forth and formed the dry land y'all y'all come on in this in this hospital and worship and bow down and kneel before the lord our maker for he alone is god we are the sheep of his pasture and today if you will hear his voice harden not your heart god said he'll be giving out transplants and he doesn't want you to harden your heart but he can fix it even if your heart is hard and he'll fix it god is out giving transplants he he's ready to take that heart of stone right out of your chest cavity i, I believe they crack the ribs first and, and 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 separate them and then they dig into the skin and, and they they break the skin and then and then they go straight into the heart and they 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 cut the cords and 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 they put you on a ventilator but god is ready right there and he's giving transplants he's ready to take that heart of stone right out of your chest and replace it with the heart of flesh. No no more hard-headed folks and no more hard-hearted folks. Uh, no more hard-hearted saints and no more hard-headed saints. We've, we've got to open up to the, to the will of God, to the will of the Father, to the will of the master surgeon. God is in the operating room just as Jesus is on the porch knocking at your door. Somebody's knocking. The call is coming to the weary ones. Come to the Lord. For he can save. He's all we need. Just open your heart and let him in. The scripture says that if you open your heart, that he has healing waiting for you, that deliverance is waiting for you, that, 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 that hope is waiting for you, that faith is waiting for you. Open your heart, saints. Lay down your burden and your broken souls. I, I, I understand this, this season has been tough on each in every one of us. I, I understand that that the severity of the situation, some of us are returning into the tabernacles and some of us are weary and some of us are battered and broken, but, but guess what? Just make it through this round. Just, just like any good boxer, just, just make it through this round. Just, just make it through this round to, to get to the corner. There in the corner, you find your encouragement. There at the hospital, you find your new heart. There, when you open that door, the Lord is knocking. Saints, I hope and pray that we all open our hearts, lay down our burdened souls on the operating room table as the master surgeon does his work on us and we do his work through us and we work for the Lord. I ask the saints to please continue to pray for me. I want you all to know that I love you all. I pray God's blessing be upon you. May God's mercy and grace be upon you. Lord bless and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. God bless and keep you is my prayer.